Just received these in the mail. Wow, look at this. Really cool graphic design. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Flywoo and I appreciate the opportunity to review their latest FPV drone. I literally done no research on this. I did see a glimpse of it on the website. It looks like it's a tiny drone. All right, I'm excited. Let's open this baby up. Yes, reverse prop direction, clear props. Clear ones here are uh, tri-blade. Oh, two types of props, huh? And we got a bi-blade prop, some screws and hardware, battery strap. It comes with some 1S batteries, very light. So we got a sticker here, prop guards. That's cool. It's got like a spider web look to them. And then we got more bolts here. Comes with a screwdriver too. Ooh, look at this cute thing. She's tiny. She make my hand look bigger? Hmm. I only like the quad that makes my hand look big. Oh, this one makes my hand look so tiny. Are you ready for this? Oh, take it off, baby. Maybe I should be more gentle. I haven't touched such a tiny drone in my life. That, sound, that sounds pretty wrong, but sounds so right too. Ah, looks like it already has some sort of battery strap on it. The build quality looks very nice. So the canopy is quite strong. This, yeah, it's super stiff. So very protective. Wow, look, it even has print on the frame. That's a really cool detail. Like this thing's so much tinier than I thought. Like, you know, I thought this was tiny, but look, it looks like humongous. These suckers are gonna spin really fast. Robo 1002 and they're 19,800 kV. So this version they sent me, it's uh, the, it has a Avatar Nano camera. It's using ELRS 2.0. As for the FC, it's using a Goku F4 1S AIO. To access the USB, it looks like it's already sticking on like that. So it's very uh, user friendly. Let's say he's got this like a mini T antenna back here. And we got a nice and light dipole antenna. So if you look at this frame, it's a one piece and it looks nice and strong. And surprisingly, it's quite thick. It's even thicker than my baby quad. So it should be able to take a few hits. All right, let's see how much she weighs. Hello, moment of truth, 34 grams. And let's try it with the bi-blade props and maybe a 1S battery, 52.28 grams. And as for prop size, it looks like it's 1.6 inches. I think I'm gonna leave the prop guards off for now. I wanna fly it as is in its lightest format. Let's have a look at the charger. I believe this is optional. I think having something like this would be very handy, especially if you're new to these small type of batteries such as myself. What's this? Like a charging brick. And there's, got, there's a USB here. I wonder if you can charge your phone with this too. Yep, there's a USB wire in here. And we got the charger. So this is a pretty fancy looking uh, charger here. It's got like these nice plexiglass covers on it. You know, it has a really nice solid durable feel. And apparently it's got two types of connections on here. So the batteries that come with this drone, they have an A30 plug. And according to Flywoo, it's better than the PH 2.0. But if you use PH 2.0 1S batteries, then I'm assuming um, these are the connections for that. Uh, I definitely recommend to use this brick that they included. I would plug it into the wall first, then I would, I would plug in the batteries and just wait. And I think it charges them all at the same time. You can buy spare batteries on Flywood. Start off by putting on the battery. Let's see how easy this is. You just push it in there, you know, shove it in, shove it. For a small drone like this, you know, center of gravity is really important. So it's gonna balance it on my finger. So we're gonna put on these props and there's no screws. You just press them on tight, really easy. All right, I'm gonna give it to my buddy to check because I'm really bad at this. What do you think, Kibby? Did I put on the props right? Really? Oh, success. Yes. We have a DLRS module here that we're going to put on my friend's transmitter. So that's the walk snail goggles. The VRX. Oh, okay. The VRX. Ah, I got it. Got fat, it. Fat snail. Oh, uh, fat snail. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> fat snail. Hey, we, that's, a, that's a brand. Oh, look at this thing. It's so cute. It's flying. That's pretty smooth sounding too. Yeah, it's so cute. 
So the camera angle is like pretty fixed, so <laughs> I wish it can go a little faster. I guess it's more of an indoor drone. Why don't we, uh, so. Is it? <laughs> yeah, not bad, and it's not shaking too much, so it has some gentle wind today. Why don't we try a little bit of a dive? Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's super quiet. Wow, let's try a roll. Oh, these Mr. Steel rates. Okay, let's try a power loop. Whoa, okay, you can catch us pretty good. Juicy flick. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have enough mass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is really fun actually, it's very enjoyable. Whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm at 3.75. Oh, the contrast on uh, walk snail is pretty nice. Let's, let's try uh, prop washing it. Whoa! Okay, a lot of prop wash. <laughs> it's all good. Three point six. Supposedly the battery's supposed to last pretty long on this. Let's do a punch out. Oh, not bad. How did that look? Good. good. Yeah, I think something like this is like um, kind of really hard to notice and it's like a good, really good practice drone, I would say. Uh, yeah, it's... A lot of fun. Very surprising for such a tiny drone. I bet like indoors this thing would be so crazy and fun. guys finally we're back at the studio yeah I, th I think it was a lot of fun you know it kind of flies just like how it looks and what really stood out to me was how quiet it was like it was like a whisper it sounded like it was really far away but it was right next to me so I think that's the most amazing thing about this um, so you can see from the footage even though this is called DC which I'm assuming it means dead cat um, there was still props in view, but you know, it's at the lower edges, right? So it is pretty good for what it is for this tiny little thing. And you don't buy this for good footage. You buy it to practice and have fun. It performed well out in the park. Uh, my friends said that it picked up speed really well. Obviously, if you go up and down, there's prop wash, which is typical of this type of quad, but doing all the like flips and little, you know, flippy flops and stuff, like it could handle it. And as long as you power out with the throttle high, like when you're dropping, then no problem. You shouldn't hit the ground. Performs as expected. And it was a lot of fun. You know, the camera angle is quite fixed. So uh, perfect for indoor flying as well. So maybe you can scale down the throttle a little bit and you can just fly this in the house too. And I hit the ground a little bit doing a flip, but you know, everything is good. So if you think this is for you, go pick it up. I got links in the description below. If you purchase from the affiliate links, it helps me out a little bit so I could keep bringing this type of content to you guys. Thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.